Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock, and yeah. Kind of had a bit of a recording boo boo with this one. Unfortunately, my microphone wasn't turned up, so um, yeah, this one you get to enjoy without any live commentary as I'm playing. This is Paper Map um, Endless, which is a gel themed map. We have to use both speed gel and bounce gel to get to the exit, and. Um, yeah, I thought it was a very cool, clever map. Very cool map, indeed. Um, I kind of guessed at what I had to do halfway through and then, like, doubted myself because something didn't quite work right. And um, then I kind of tried it again and realised I could do something a little bit different, as you'll see. And, um, yeah, managed to basically smash it out the park. So, um, yeah, I apologise once again for the recording boo boo. What it is, is now that I'm all organised and everything with my spreadsheet for map playing and stuff, I, um, after I play a map, I then press the enter the date of when it's going to be on the YouTube, and I press my hotkey to turn on and off my microphone, uh, which is my numeric slash on my numpad, because I always use numpad for numbers, and, um, yeah, that's, um, basically what happened, but as you see here we're just sort of exploring the map a little bit um, getting to grips with where everything is and where everything goes and um, at this point I'm kind of wondering hmm, what, what do I do, how do I, how, how can I get across there, because I can't get enough to get across there as you'll see here I think we're going to just uh, shoot the wrong portal that's you know, classic knock uh, but we're going to go over here I think I actually end up putting some speed gel in here And then we go through. So I'm thinking, well, maybe if I can break the, the portal magnet on this surface here, then maybe I can orient the gel in a way that will actually be useful to me. And it will actually get it across. Because what I'm thinking here is I need to use the gel on the platform to sort of jump across to the other area. Because I've missed something glaringly obviously in this map by not exploring it to its full potential, of course. But now I'm just sort of laying in, uh, okay, let's think what else I can do here. Can I do anything else with this gel? Can I get it anywhere else? And turns out I can. By, you know, doing something like this, you can angle out the gel. But that's only because I've bro broken the portal placement helper. And doing this isn't very helpful in the slightest. So now I actually realise, oh, wait a minute, I can just walk through here. I didn't see this before. What, 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 what am I doing? And I'm thinking, well, okay. If I can do that, maybe I can loop the gel. But, of course, not being knocked, we, we have to do this like a, a stupid way. And um, I'm going, yeah, I'm sure I can do this, guys. I'm showing sure you I can jump off the button here and I can hit this. Trust me, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Which gives me like a tiny bit there, which is nowhere near enough to um, get across to where I need to go. So, um,. I think I actually stupidly tested it as well. No, I didn't. I just realised afterwards it's never going to work. So, having realised we missed an area, we now have the ability to um, sort of proceed a bit further in this map and investigate a bit more. But we need to work out now how to get gel onto there. So, looping the gel is definitely the right thing to do. And um, as you can probably see here, I'm trying to work out how I can get it to come out of the top pole, which is going to be key at this point. And then I realised, well, we have this area here. So let's get in here. And this bit actually gave me a little bit of trouble, to be honest, for a start. I think it's mainly down to my position of my portal on the floor portal here. But, um, yeah, I did realise this is what I needed to do. Because that's placement helper. So, I was like, okay, let's straighten this up. Go through here. And then, hopefully, we'll be able to get through this portal. Like so. See, that's easy when you do it, right? Okay, so then that allows us to loop the gel. Like so. But, of course, in classic Nox fashion, we shoot the wrong pole. So we have to do all of that hard work again. Because, you know, why not? But learn from our mistakes, shoot the portal in the middle, and hopefully this time will only take us two attempts to get through. So now we can successfully loop the gel, shoot the portal there, and then onto the wall. Don't leave it too long. And that should have given us enough gel now to cover the area um, over yonder, which it has, as you can see. 
So now we can use the second ramp to proceed through the map and find out what is on the other side of the gap. And we find ourselves some bounce gel. So we're looking at things here and we realise that it's, it's a double requirement. So I was kind of worried, wondering about this at, at the time of playing and I think, I was like, well, why have we got like a two-way two, two -way mechanism here? I don't, personally, I don't understand why we would need to have that pedestal button connected to the, the bounce gel dropper. I can see that the pedestal button, as we, you know, try and work out how to get back. I can see that the pedestal button is controlling the fizzler. But I don't see why it needs to be part of the paint dropper as well. I don't see a way of actually activating that paint dropper until you're in here anyway. So I don't think, you know, that's possibly a step that isn't needed. Anyway, we're, we're trying different bits and pieces here. And then I finally sort of click so we can bounce out of this portal here. And we can return um, using the bounce gel. So that's what we're going to do right here. Like so. So that returns us to here. And obviously we can now see that surface from there. So that will allow us to get a blue gel bombs starting to flow on the other side, like so. I'm just wondering here, have I done the right thing there by standing on the button? But it really doesn't matter at this point. It, it makes not a lot of difference at all. Because what we're going to want to do is, as we did with the orange gel, is loop the blue gel. Whether I've quite realised that or not, yet I can't quite remember. Yeah, we're going to send the gel through. I'm going to wait for it to come back, of course, because we don't want to hit the bomb. I'm going to rush through, and then we can swap the gel in a moment, Knock, you're going to realise. Oh no, we're going to do this first. Okay. But gel is required there. Gel is required there for the exit, so it's all good, Knock. It's all good. I'll let you off this time. But um, I'm sure I had to loop the gel for something. Oh, maybe it was for that bit there. So what I'm thinking now is I can probably run out of the portal. If I get bounce gel on the end of that platform there, I can run out of here and um, use the bounce gel to kind of do that. So obviously we've lost the portal in the blue room now. Um, but it soon became apparent that even by doing this, the blue gel is too near it's too near to the portal surfaces. So we're going to need to increase the velocity of the blue gel so that it ends up towards the latter section of this platform here. As you'll see here, it doesn't give us enough velocity at all as we prevent the death right there. So this is where I kind of have a think about it and then realise, well, actually, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to loop that gel. Like I said, we're going to do for like the last probably two minutes of this video as I attempt to do it again, but obviously fail because it's not the right thing to do. So, um, yeah. We'll go back here. This also went through my mind as well. I was wondering at this point, could I get blue gel like, in this section here? And then use it to bounce up. So that's what I'm actually going to try right here. So we'll put the port on there. We'll run across here. I'm going to get a portal on here. Go through. Swap the ceiling portal for the wall portal. And then I'm going to put some blue gel in here and see if we can get it like far enough out. Because obviously we did with the blue, the, the orange gel. And that's what kind of gave me a bit of false hope. But then I kind of in retrospect and, and looking back. I don't know why I use that word. Uh, looking back in hindsight is what I should have used. Is the reason I have that. They have a massive issue getting out of this portal. That's <laughs> just really frustrating me. Um, I managed to break the portal placement helper, so I managed to like spread the orange gel to locations that um, were giving me false hope with this this gel here. So, you see here, it's kind of like spread some gel. I mean, we got a bit here. I mean, I did think it was maybe possible, but the clever level design above us, paper has put in that, that block right there to stop us from doing this very thing. So I don't know if this was an unintended solution that he's, uh, the papers had to prevent. But, yeah, we, it's not possible. So that was out of the question as well. I think in a moment we're possibly going to be thinking more about looping the blue gel. I'm sure it's got to come at some point in this video, right? Right? Just 
I'm going to think about things, you know, weighing things up in my head. What can we do? What can we do? I think I probably went for a fag or a cup of tea there. Man, that was a long pause. Smoking's bad, guys. Don't smoke. Do not smoke. So here, okay, so we're going to look here and see what else we can do. We're going to bounce back across the other side. Which seems like a smart thing to do. And then we're going to put a pole there, up top. I'm gonna evaluate the situation here. I think this is where I'm deciding actually I think I'm gonna like try and reset maybe. But I think at the same time I want to kind of gauge whether or not I can get the blue gel further down the uh, platform than I already have. Obviously we tried it just from a standing start. Didn't really make much difference. And I think any moment now the penny is going to drop. No, not there, knock. Not there. We can't get gel there. It's not possible. Or is it? I think that's actually what led me to my, my final sort of summary of the map actually, and my final um, solution. I think I was thinking if I could loop the blue gel then... I could get it on that platform there. I could run from the top platform, bounce on this one, bounce across, bounce across. In hindsight, looking at it now, I, that would never have worked because the blue gel is the, the platform is too close to that glass area, so the glass would have prevented the bounce ultimately. But um, yeah, as you see here, we are going to loop the gel like I should have done a long, long time ago. loop it and the gel bombs don't actually seem to get that much velocity so you can't actually fire it that far but um, we do that anyway and I just go and have a look you can see quite clearly it went a considerable further amount so at this point I'm like yep this is what we need to do let's, um, let's just regel all this in orange go and set up the blue again and we should be done hopefully So yeah, this is just us setting up for the solution again. And I have to say, I think in a moment there's a, a really a rather slick, slick portal shot, this bit in a moment. I did it kind of like all in one go. I'm, sometimes I'm not very good at shooting portals quickly. So uh, th this bit here, like juggling through, I just like go through and shoot it straight away. And I know it seems very silly, but... I just thought that that was so slick, and that's so out of character for me. I just like really happy, really impressed with that. Anyway, I digress. We shoot the portal there, and at this point, I'm like, okay, so now we we're probably going to want to test this, right? So I should have taken the cube. I didn't take the cube with me for a start, but yeah, we bounce across here. It's enough velocity, and we are across to the exit. Huzzah! And um, it's like, okay, we're done. Let's go and um, head back. Shoot the portal again. Grab the cube finally turn off the tango gel and um, across to the exit we will fly on an old cool map paper i enjoyed it um great to see a gel map it's been a while since i played a good gel map i think i don't know maybe it hasn't i don't know i play so many maps these days i can't remember what i played like two minutes ago but thank you very much for making as always guys like comment subscribe down below if you've got any matches to play please leave them in the comments or in the discord i'll link to that is in the description but until next time i've been knock you've been awesome happy gaming